Hey everyone, Arnold here, SantaMuerteMagic.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today I just wanted to speak to you a little bit about the idea of karma or backlash or the law of three as it relates to Santa Muerte magic. And the first thing I'll say on the topic is that these ideas, these laws, they hold no water, they have no power in the practice of Santa Muerte magic. And the reason is because um, it is because of the nature of Santa Muerte. The nature of Santa Muerte is to create balance and to put all things equal. Uh, we are all equal under Santa Muerte. Um, she is depicted often with the scales of justice. She's sometimes called the great equalizer. Um, so balance and equality are very much her nature. So if you petition the Santa Muerte for something to happen, uh, for something negative to happen to somebody else, if that other person does not deserve what you are sending them, then uh, that would create an imbalance and you can count on your petition being ignored. Now, if your petition is granted, then you can consider the scales put back into balance. Um, you can... Um, and you can rest easy knowing that nothing negative will come back to you because if, if in granting your petition, if doing that would create another imbalance in your direction, that is something that also goes against the nature of Santa Muerte. There are two sides to the scales of justice. An imbalance on either side is still an imbalance. So if, if you send negative energy to somebody, uh, through a petition to the Santa Muerte. And if that petition is granted, uh, then allowing anything negative to come back to you would go against the nature of Santa Muerte and it won't happen, which is why you don't have to worry about the law of three or whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's lots of names for it, karma, uh, in the tradition of Santa Muerte. Now, all this being said, when people ask these types of questions to me, uh, they'll say something like, um, what are the risks involved with petitioning for a curse or a hex, or what can I do to protect myself uh, before I send a curse or a hex? When somebody asks me these types of questions, it tells me, in, in, it reveals to me that in their minds, they have already given power to those ideas they are already acting as if negative things will happen to them if they petition for something negative to happen to somebody else. Um, the mind is a powerful thing and the placebo effect is a powerful thing um, even in, in matters of spirituality. And so if you are someone who believes that uh, negative things will happen to you if you send negative energy to somebody else, then it wouldn't surprise me one bit if you managed to, to fulfill your own prophecy. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if um, what you created in your mind came to pass. Uh, so, be because of that, be because uh, people who ask those questions are usually coming from a place of sincerity, uh, I will advise them to do something like the egg cleansing ritual. But the egg cleansing ritual is something that I advise to uh, anybody who is under the weight of negative energy or, um, or in fear that negative energy might, might be coming at them. Uh, whether or not there's a curse or a hex involved, it's, it's just something that I prescribe uh, for anyone who, who wants to protect themselves from negativity. And it's almost, I, I guess I would compare it to like a doctor giving a sugar pill. You know, if, if it would make you feel better, then that's something you can do. You can do the egg cleansing ritual, which I share on my website. Um, but in, in reality, when I make, uh, when I offer that advice, um, I, I try to introduce the person to this idea of the nature of Santa Muerte. And I say, look, you know, if it'll make you feel better, if it'll, if, if you think it will give power to your, to your magic, uh, then feel free. It's not, you're not going to hurt anybody by performing an egg cleansing ritual on yourself. 
or the people you love. It's fine. Um, do I think it's necessary? Not at all. Not at all. Do I use it on myself? Uh, not for that. Not not because I'm I'm petitioning for a curse or a hex. Uh, so, um, and, and that that's basically it. I think I've covered the main points. Uh, essentially, karma has no power in Santa Muerte magic. If uh, the energy to be sent is deserved by the person you're sending it to, then the Santa Muerte uh, will consider the petition. If it is not deserved, the, the petition will be ignored. Um, if a petition is granted, uh, nothing will come back to you because to allow anything to go back to you would create an imbalance in the other direction, and the Santa Muerte doesn't like things out of balance. Uh, so uh, that's it. I hope I've um, I, I hope I've explained that clearly. As always, uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can contact me through my website. There's a, a contact form at santamuertemagic.com. Thanks so much for uh, listening, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.